night. Thanks to everybody who sent us pictures of your cherry blossoms yesterday. They were really exquisite, absolutely beautiful. Something totally, totally different today. I always want to make Wednesday a little bit quirky and fun. And today's Wednesday drawing is a really fabulous dragon. We've made ours a little bit cute. If you want to make it fierce, it's all going to be about the face expression. So let's go and have a go. <laughs> this dragon it's quite there's quite a few complex shapes in here so I want to really break it right down and I'm going to break it right down by thinking about where I want the base of it to go so go about a third of the way up your paper and here just put a small curve there now I want more room here so I'll probably actually be about halfway across the paper so a third of the way up and about halfway across and what I'm going to do here is put in a sort of curved, it's a cross really between a square and a circle because it's not a circle, but that's a curve. That's a curve. You'll see it on the bit um, when we pause. Um, we'll pause and you can put the shapes in. But can, do you see what I mean? Does that make sense, a curved circle, Elizabeth, or does that sound a bit bonkers? No, it does make sense. It does make sense, right? There we go. So we've got our curved circle we're going to start with. And then what I want you to do is to take it up here about exactly the same length as that. So about there, here in a curve. And then on this side, we're gonna go higher. This is what's gonna form the neck eventually. And we're gonna, from there, take it down. Up here again, we're gonna have a circle, not quite a circle really, but it will give us a basis. These really are the foundation shapes. And everything, if I was doing a portrait, that's what I'd start with. I'd start with my foundation shapes. I would not start by going in on a detailed eye or, or a curl of hair. I would start by getting all the basic shapes in here. So coming down here like that, let's get this bit, which will start to form the tail and the legs on the next bit. It looks very odd. It doesn't look like a dragon. I'm very aware, but stick with me because I will get you there. And if you pause now, and get those four basic shapes in. So we're going to go in with the head first. So here, what has been this circular shape, what we're going to do is a straight line there and a straight line there because the dragon's got this kind of flat head there. And from there, we'll start taking off what are going to be the spikes up at the top. So that's it, and down. I'm going to go for three here. Spikes, horns, I don't horns. know. Horns, Elizabeth thinks. She's more of a dragon expert than I am. Um, there. And then this is going to be his ear. So we'll take that ear shape out into a, into a little point there as well. Now here, we've got a tiny curve and then we're meeting the back really of the neck. We're going to leave the wings for now. We'll come onto that at the next stage. So if we come here to the front, that's when that's us going in with making it look much more dragon-like there with that shape. He's actually quite jolly, this one. So I'm going to give him a little smile. It's Wednesday. It's midweek. We're all on lockdown. Let's do happy dragons. Here we go. Then take it there. Now, this is the important bit here. It's the shape within the shape. I've talked about this before, the negative shape. So coming down here, we're bringing out what is going to be one arm. And we're going to go there with a second arm. Coming around, take that arm up. So it's parallel there. So you've got this scap for the neck and then you've got this arm coming in there. Obviously, we're going to go back in now and start rubbing some of these lines out. We don't need that one, we don't need that one, we don't need that one. We don't need that one. So, starting to come a little bit here. In a minute, you will really see them start to appear as we go down here. So we've got the stomach curving round. It looks like quite a nicely fed dragon, this one. And then let's take that leg up there. 
and then um, what I'm going to do is use this bit here as the front leg and this bit here as the back leg. So I'm just going to take it down a bit. You're going to have loads of time to do this. So you can pause it, take your time and do it for as long as you like. <clears throat> Coming behind here. <coughs> Sorry. I've got this leg and this one. Then I'm going to take out the tail. We'll take it to about there. So it's sweeping around. And then if you pause and you can just take your time and make sure you rub out the bits in between. Okay, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to come down. Now we're putting in all the details and then the bottom of the horns. So coming round on the inside of the ear. Now, if I take a line up here, this will really help me to see where I'm going to put my eye in and I'm going to go around it. And I want the eye to be, the position of, positioning of the eye is always really important. If I put that bit there for his little breathing area, and then from that, I was just laughing at me, because clearly breathing his area. Nose. His nose, thank you. His nose, I'm not feeling very articulate today. Here we go, we'll take that round, and it's a, a kind of almond shape almost, eye, and then inside a circle. And rather than a pupil, we're going to go down because it's a dragon, obviously. So we'll go down and we'll give him a triangle. But that's his eye going in. And we want these shapes at the back of it here. Coming down underneath, let's give him a few more. We're going to do quite a few triangles now, I think. If we come in and give him a couple here. Now, I'm going to put some wings in. So we'll go up. Think about that curve. Think about the space in between it. That's the important bit, the space in between it. And we'll take this curve right down. I'm going to go down to about here with it. Go like that, take it round in a nice curve. And then the shape I'm going to go for inside, if we come up here, and then I'm going to curve that round so that it joins in there. So that wasn't quite what I was hoping for, so let's go back in. Do it again, so keeping the marks really light, so if you don't get it quite right, you can go in. And then underneath here, let's just give it a couple of curves like that. So we're coming round here, and we've got more little triangles, and you can put in these little triangles all the way around the edges of the tail, right round to there. So he's definitely looking more dragon-like now. So that's there. Coming into the hands, these are pretty much done. We'll just ch slightly change the shape on the arms. You'll see that when you pause it. The ch shape is slightly different and we'll go here to give it some claws. Coming right round now on the feet, same. So a couple there and we'll give him claws actually. A few more triangles coming in. And then to finish him off, let's have a little flame here. Coming round and if you want it, tiny puff of smoke so it's really worth taking your time on this and it's always worth thinking of these negative shapes that's the bits in between the shapes now i hope you really enjoyed that this was a special request that came from a little girl called heather mcleod who loves dragons and we actually had quite a few other dragon requests so if you've got more requests for us do send them in. We really are listening and we're trying to get, get designs either from the archives or I'm just sitting and making them up. So we will do whatever we can. Now I'm going to paint it, but if you want to use your pencils, just go ahead and um, fill it in. I really hope you enjoyed the dragon. <music>
we know that lots of um, companies are struggling to get things out so these can be slipped into an envelope quite easily and um, so I'm going to in the lid mix the wash I'm going to make sure I've got plenty when I did the critter for the junior I didn't mix enough wash and I've learned my lesson there and from then I'm going to go into not this one because I've yeah yes <gasps> look at that Elizabeth's laughing at me because I didn't try it out first here we go it's a blue Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Look at that. It's a really, it's actually called a thallo blue. This is a very strong blue. And it's exactly what I want for this. So I'm going to go under the horns here. And round the edges. And I want to, I'm going to do this bit around his eye in um, orange. So I'm going to leave that. And I'm going to go around the edges of the ear and leave that. But you will notice that I haven't gone into the palette. If I'd gone into the palette and not mixed a wash, this would be much darker. And that's not the effect I'm going for. I really want to go for this effect of um, watercolours. So if I go under there, that's going to give me plenty of space for me to put my orange. And I'll come round here. It's a luminous blue, this. It really is. If I go down the edges there... I'm not using a really thick brush here. I'm using a kind of medium size one because there's plenty of paint going down. It would take me forever if I did this in a tiny brush. But I think I'd miss some of these little details out if I did it in a brush that was very um, big. I'm going to leave the, the belly because I'm going to do that in a different colour, but I am going to paint the arms in here. And I'm so pleased that I mixed plenty of the blue here. So I'm going to come down. Elizabeth and I have just been having a chat about this. And I always know it's a good one when Elizabeth says, oh, I'm going to go and do that one. And you are going to go and do this one, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if anybody's looking, thinking, no, I'm not doing that. I'm too old for dragons. Elizabeth's actually 18 and she's still going to do it. I'm considerably older than that, and I have to say, this is one the one that I've had the most fun with, so thank you, Heather, for suggesting. Dragons, it wasn't just Heather, actually, it was Charlie and Daniel as well, who all are big dragon. they all love dragons. And Henry, although he did really have his dinosaur. Dinosaurs and dragons. What was the name of it? Oh, I can't remember the name. Can you, Elizabeth? Like, it began with a P, but began it was, P, didn't but... sound like that. No. There we go. I'm coming around. So you can see, almost done now. And that's the blue in. So if you've got blue paint, you can pause it at this point and get the blue in. And then we're going to um, move on and we'll do the, the next bits in a mix of paint and watercolour pencil. So I'm going to um, mix a really light wash. So that means all I'm going to do is put hardly any. Did you see how little paint there? Barely any. And that is going to be this bit here for the tummy. I just want that really light. But for the orange under the wings, loads more. So look, I'm loading my brush there. Look at the difference in colour. So lots and lots of pigment in there. And what I'm going to do is start by going under the wings like that. I love these um, super bright colours of these, this little palette of paints. They're so strong. And all you've got to do if you want to use them more subtly, like there, is just add more water. There we go. So we've got the bit underneath. Now I'm going to swap and use a really small brush here for the details and I'm just going to load my brush there and I want to just put in all of my little triangles and a bit of orange and this bit around the eye which I'm going to do very carefully. There we go. Now one of the reasons for choosing blue and orange is that they are complementary colours which means that they sit exactly opposite each other on the colour wheel. There we go, just popping in those little triangles all the way around. I'm going to do this really fast. Obviously, please do take your time and feel like you've got to do it at warp speed like this. 
And then I'm going to put in this bit of flame around the tail as well. Okay, so all that is just with paints from a very simple paint palette. But I'm going to finish it off. I could do this with my brush. I'm just for ease going to do it with my pencil. And what I'm going to do is come in. An ordinary pencil would do this. These are watercolour pencils, but an ordinary pencil would do that bit. I'm going to colour that bit in there. Then I'm going to take my black and just gently shade around the outside of each horn and a little bit around my wisp of smoke there and the same here on these claws. And if I take my brush, making sure it's got absolutely none of that orange on, that would be a bit of a disaster. And can you see, because these are the watercolour pencils, if you've not got them and you're just using your palette, just a very light grey there. And I'm going to do the same with the, with the puff of smoke. Now, once all that's dry, then I'm going to go around and I'm going to do the details here in, in a fine liner pen. A thin um, felt tip will do the same or even a biro. So... If you've got a fine liner, use it. If you've not, don't fret. Just use whatever you can get your hands on. And I'm going to go around each of those small details in that. And don't forget the eye. It's the eye really leaving that little highlight. I'm going to go in there like that. And the eye will really bring it to life. So I'm going to go over slowly now and do all of my bits of fine liner which will really bring him out. And we really want to see your pictures, so please make sure you send us your dragons. And we hope you loved it, and we'll see you tomorrow.